Hey lovely, I am currently working on a 12 by 12 layout that was inspired by a piece of paper from the Pink Paisley Page Evans Whimsical range and it's concentric circles made up of semicircles. So I want to try and recreate it because I don't want to go out and buy that paper because I don't like it that much. I just think the technique and the look is really good. So I decided to make my own. I've grabbed my one inch punch and I've punched out several bits, well several circles that I'm going to cut in half to create the semicircles that I need. The papers I've used are 12 by 12 usually I would use scraps for something like this and it's a really good project for using scraps, but these particular papers I'm not going to use as 12 by 12 so I'd rather get them into scraps now. Once I've got the semicircles I started to create my spiral. Now you could do this as concentric circles, it will be so much easier than trying to create a spiral. Um, trust me, I, di I did a lot of swearing during this. Um, I'm just marking lightly with my pencil how this spiral is going to go. You can see I'm rubbing out quite a lot, I'm drawing a lot of circles, I'm curving things around a bit. It was a bit of a pain to do, if I'm perfectly honest. But the end result was worth it, I must admit. It would be a lot easier to just do the concentric circles then. Now we need to look at sticking these down, these semicircles down. So I'm going to use glossy accents. I would recommend a wet glue for this. It's just a lot easier and it will dry a lot more firmly. I'm running a line of glue around my pencil line and just sticking the semicircles to it as you can see and I'm following the spiral line that I've drawn, you'll see as we go that it isn't perfect. Okay, You'll see it is a bit on the wonky side. It doesn't You don't notice it as an end piece, but when you see it at this point part way through, you can see that it is a bit wonky, it's not perfect, and quite frankly that's okay, perfection is overrated. I spent long enough getting it to this stage. Life is too short to worry about how straight my circle is or how spirally my spiral is. So I stick them down. It's so simple to do this bit. It really is. It's just glue and a bit of patience really. I'm following that line and yeah you can see here that it's not a perfect spiral. It's not a perfect circle. I really don't care because we don't see it. Once I've got to the end of this um, I did have to punch out a few more circles because you don't know how many semicircles you're going to need and I don't want to have a ton of semicircles left over and I don't want to bin a ton of paper for it so I just worked with it as I went. Rather than cutting things off at this stage as well like around the edges I decided to leave it till the glue had fully dried because it's wet glue and I didn't want it moving around in the same way. I also decided to go a little further in with my spiral and continue the spiral going out as well. So that's what I've just done here is just drawn in the spiral, the continuation of the spiral and I'm gonna just stick the semicircles down like I say. Nothing difficult about it, just cutting out semicircles and gluing them down. So we'll speed through this bit and then we'll get on to the next bit which will be photographs. So we've finally got the glue dry. I'm going to rub out my pencil lines to make sure there's no more sign of those as far as I can. You'll always get a little bit of the pencil line showing through so that's why I wanted to be really faint with it. I've got three photographs that I thought might work and I just had to play around with them um, just to see how I felt about it. I tend to trust my gut when it comes to photographs and I decided to go with this particular one which is prawn cocktail. Treat it for my usual style. I've pulled out from my scraps box papers that I think may or may not in this case work with the photograph and also work with the background. So we're looking at pinks, we're looking at yellows. I can introduce a little bit of blue into it as well and maybe some slight greeny colours. I could also go purple too. I'm going to use this old um, scrap to mat it. So you can see there is a circle punched out of it but that's not going to matter because I'll cover that up. You won't see it and it won't detract from the final piece of the layout. I'm going to mat it up. Now 
it did become a bit of a thing of it looks like almost I just stuck a piece of paper on top so I decided to add some of this yellow paper from the background just to make it a bit more cohesive um, and to bring things together I started to mess around a bit with the papers I didn't stick them on um, in a straight line because I like wonky angles and I don't see why it should all be straight lines and then I went to my embellishment box I've just pulled out things that I think may work with it and just have a play around so whilst this speeds through I'll give you some lovely music whilst I mess around with embellishments and I will come back to you um, in a began ram rummaging through my letter stickers at this point just to pull out ones that I think may or may not work um, I didn't really have a title idea I just wanted to have a bit of a play around to be perfectly frank so I sort of I pull things out and I will try see whether the colours work and I'm very much trying out different areas for it as well eventually I settled on delish dish um, as you'll see here and I began to play around a bit more with the positioning of the letters because I just wasn't happy with it so and also the two fonts I'd used I like the two fonts it was just which order everything was going to go in now having settled on where this was going to go and started some embellishment and coming to the end I suddenly had an epiphany moment so once we have these lovely little null dots stuck on you'll see what I mean I still wasn't happy with it so I pulled off the dots that I'd put on played around with a few more and still wasn't happy with it it's okay to get to this stage and still be unhappy with things um, I wasn't happy with the positioning of the letters there was just something about this particular point in the layout I wasn't happy with so I pulled out this frame now this frame is a really old vellum one from Studio Calico and I liked it but I didn't want to cover things up too much so what I decided to do was trim down the photo to fit the frame now bearing in mind I've already done all this layering and I'm pulling up half the work and that's okay you know you can see where I did have covered up the semicircle that was cut into the card that I'd matted on doesn't matter if you're not happy with something you change it and that's what I did here by adding that extra frame I was much happier with the piece and was finally able to call it finished so I really hope you enjoyed it I'd love to see you try out the circle technique um, with the semicircles and hopefully it won't be as much of a pain in the neck for you as it was for me to come together um, 
thank you so much for watching and being patient with me here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel, visit me on Inky Paws, either at Facebook or on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye!